Jody and I are here at the Hope Garden in Omaha today to talk to you about one of the peskiest pests that we deal with in our cucurbit crops, and it's called the squash bug. The squash bug. <laughs> so the squash bug is a leaf-footed bug that loves squash and cucumbers and pumpkins, all the good gardening crops that we love here in Nebraska. And as adults, they're about half an inch long, they're a dull gray to brown, and they've got light stripes on their abdomen. Squash bugs are part of order Hemiptera. They're true bugs. That means that they have a needle-like mouth part that they use to feed on fluids for food. These types of insects poke this into whatever it is that they feed on, and they draw out a liquid for sustenance. So in this case, they're pulling out the plant sap. This leads to this kind of speckling that we see here, as well as wilting. They're essentially plant Draculas. They're sucking out the nutrients and water from it and causing all of this damage. Luckily, there are no diseases that they transmit, but if we were to be worried about this pest, what kind of uh, time of year are we talking about? When is this usually out? Well, about? the adults overwinter in uh, debris, and that's around buildings and under rocks. They will emerge in the spring and they will find the cucurbit patch, feed and mate. And then the adult female will go and find a place to lay clusters of eggs. They are a bronze color, football shaped, and they're on the foliage, usually between the leaf veins and on the stem. Then the nymphs and adults will emerge and they'll be very active in late June and mid July. So what can we do to manage this? This is a really tough pest to manage because of their feeding strategy. It's tough to get insecticides in them sometimes, and they're actually pretty quick and they'll scatter when you approach the garden. So sometimes I think the best strategy is hidden in the name squash bug. Just go out and squash the bug, either the adults or go out and scout for the eggs. Look for them between those veins on the leaf or on the stem and just destroy them with your thumb or forefinger. And that way you see fewer of them in your garden. But if they miss that early window to do that, then what are some other strategies? Well, we could trap them out in the garden. So it takes a little bit of work and persistence, but you can put uh, like rolled up newspaper out in the garden in the evening or some boards. The nymphs and the adults, they like to hide. So they will get into there and in the morning you can um, tap them or brush them into soapy water and destroy them. Yeah. Um, are there any insecticides that we can use on those? There are some insecticides we can use. Just a word of caution with that. We're talking about a very pollinator friendly group of plants here. Squash bees, honeybees, lots of different critters will visit these flowers. So you want to be careful when you spray something. You want to make sure you do it early in the morning, like before eight or nine, or late in the evening, like late after, after eight or nine. If you do that, you'll avoid harming our pollinating friends. But you can use permethrin, you can use bifenthrin or carbaryl. If you're organic, you can use insecticidal soap. Well, no matter what you use, make sure you get it on the underside of the leaf so that you can catch them where they live and destroy them with those insecticides. But if you wanted to cut down on numbers for next year, Jody, what would be some options for that? So garden sanitation is very important. Because the adults overwinter in the debris, you wanna clean up your garden at the end of the season. And if you're gonna plant cucurbits year after year, how about switch things up a little and rotate where your crops are. Maybe you'll confuse them. And with persistence and good IPM practices, maybe you'll have fewer plant Draculas and more pumpkin pie. Mm.